couple of weeks ago, in the heat of protests in the United States, reports had it that the DEA was given permission to collect intelligence on protesters. That is, if you're at a protest and you have yourself photographed, you're at risk of being tracked down by authorities. Also, in light of current situations surrounding rape, domestic violence, and murder in Nigeria, we've seen sensitive pictures of brutalized victims circulating social media. Whereas, it is important to mitigate the impact of child crime victims and ethically victims of whatever age, hence the need to protect their identities. And for people and even blogs that take pictures of brutalized victims and then post on social media, it's, it's time to really review your social media habits. Ask yourself these questions. Did I ask the family for permission? Do I have to share pictures of the deceased, especially the way I did? Will the deceased want to be remembered that way? Exactly. You need to realize that your action shows lack of respect for people's privacy. Today, I'll be showing us how to blur people's faces in either protest photos, photos of deceased, brutalized victims, or even child victims dead or alive. There are a couple of apps that blur faces out perfectly, but after a bit of research on veritable sites, I realized Image Scrubber, developed by Everest Pipkin, does the job and comes with a nice tweak to it. Aside from allowing users to easily blur faces out, it also erases metadata from the photo. Metadata that is, time it was taking, dates, and probably even location. So here's how to use it. I'll first start by taking a picture. Then log into the image scrubber domain on your computer or phone with Everest Pipkin dot GIT hub dot IO slash image hyphen scrubber slash here. Click on open image. I'll just select the pictures I took now. Once the image opens, it automatically gives you the option of scrubbing metadata and then you click on it. This is it, scrub EXIF data. This includes the time it was taking, date, and even location. Scrub. Okay. Now, the image opens and you can blur out a person's face. It has a couple of options, including paint, blur, undo, brush, rectangle, tap, increasing or decreasing the brush size and the blur radius. So I'll just click on blur. To undo it, I can just do this and it just goes back to normal. To reduce the brush size, I just do this and then or to increase it, I can do this, this, and then just increase it. Once you've done that, you can save the picture by clicking on save image and the file automatically downloads. And that's the end. Once you're done, you can now share the picture with peace of mind or knowing fully well that you've done the right thing. And that's all. Thank you guys for watching the video. I remain precious. See you next time. Mm, precious, don't leave me, don't leave me. Don't leave me. <laughs>
Oh, person. you guys always want a piece of me. All right, all right, all right. Fine. <sighs> okay, so I got to work today, yeah? The door was locked. I went to meet the um, neighbors and I asked okay. them, please, do you know where the key is? They said, the key is with the gates man. Okay, please, do you know where the gates man is? Mm -hmm. They said, he's quite foul. He now hits me. Okay. If the gates man has the key mm -hmm. and he's far away, right. does that make him ask if I? <laughs> Think about it. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have to go. I have to go. <laughs> <laughs>